Good morning. Good morning, chat. Oh, we have we have a special guest. We we have Mr. Tyler Dowdy here with us today. Freshly minted twelve year old Tyler Dowdy with us today. So good morning, Tyler. Good morning. <laughs> so good good morning. Good morning, chat. How are y'all? Evan, thanks for the seventeen months of subbing. Thank you, man. Um, there's been some 24 month subs, I think, I think so. It's been like two years, but remember I took like six months off that one time, right? Like it just wasn't like the timing wasn't working. Timing wasn't working right. We have a, we have a big, big unboxing today. Um, why aren't my sounds working? I feel like I'm not getting sounds. Um, yeah, we have a big unboxing today, so we'll let everyone get in and we'll get started with it once we. Yeah, there's my sounds. K9 play, eight months of subbing. Thank you. Give us a cheer, Tyler. Give us one of these. <laughs> it's the cheers. All right, you can put your phone on mute. Oh, we're my Who is that? Patrick, three months subbing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the subs. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so mom's watching, so she's texting Tyler saying, hey, you're on TV, like you're famous now. Huh. So Tyler's good, Tyler's, I'm pretty sure Tyler wants to grow up to be a Twitch streamer, so we'll see how that goes. Once we get real internet at home and he turns 13, maybe he can have his own channel, so we'll see. Level one hype train. I love it. Thank y'all so much. So yeah, I have one, two, three, four boxes today, and I teased y'all in the title, um... The spoke roadie, we're working on the colors, right? So we're putting together the colors for the roadies that we're going to eventually sell on the, on the spoke design site. And that's what um, Brian and I worked on when I sent that picture on Instagram when we were in the back of his truck, um, in a truck stop in the middle of nowhere, Georgia. And this is like literally middle of nowhere. This wasn't one of those exits that has all the food places and stuff. This was an exit that just had a gas station with like a dirt road tr truck stop. And we were, <laughs> we were out there in the front of the truck stop. It was, uh, it was a time and it was, it was buggy and hot and humid. And we did that for like two hours. It was, <laughs> but it was a fun, it was, we had to do it. It's good for us to meet, meet somewhere in the middle and um it worked out so what we did was pick out all the colors in spare parts like we puzzled up all the like lego we puzzled all the the parts together and then brian went home put the georgia is pretty much one big truck stop um brian went home and finalized the pins to see what we're really going to do so i'm going to show you all those today we've named most of them there are a couple that i need help with names in so that's going to be your job today because you know we like to make the fun colors funny colors um so we got to name them equally as fun and funny and there's a couple that we just we don't have a good enough answer for so we're going to do that <clears throat> question that's the colors you have a question mm -hmm. okay so you know how like the Speak spoke look you know how like the spoke logos like blue and black yes do you have a blue and black color we put one together. I don't know if it made the cut or not. We might have pulled that one for round two. But yes, we do have some blue and black in the long version of the pen. You know, the big pen that I, I use at home. So we have some of that. And then we're going to make the roadie in blue and black. But I don't think it made the first round. We made one, though. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be for sale yet. That's a very good question. Very smart. So um, we'll wait a few minutes to get a few more listeners in here. So... Yeah, so four boxes, what I have, I have a gift from Cult Pens for the article that I helped them, they asked me to write, well, not article, the questions they asked me to answer. Hey, good morning, Jim. Would I like a sam sample of Pelican Moonstone? Yes, that would be cool. Gumbo Man Pat. You can hit my uh, my P.O. box on the contact page of the, um, the Pen Addict. You sent me a Twitter DM, should I look at it now? I have it right here, image attached. What is this? Is that like really old or really new? That's a wild color, Jim. So I'm, can I put this on? Uh, can I put this on, up on the pictures? So this is a really interesting. Looks like an old school integrated nib, not integrated nib, um, inlaid nib. Thanks, Gumbo Man. Inlaid nib, but in a barrel treatment I have never seen. So let's put this up here. Where am I? Uh. 
go. Oh, we're going to hide Tyler's face. Oh, this is I like this button. This is my new favorite button. Hi, Tyler. Bye, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Bye, Tyler. But yeah, look at this. What's the story here? So you do do you collect pins? Uh, just suit. I am a reviewer of pins. Um, collect pins? Yeah, I guess so. I have hundreds and hundreds of pins, but uh, I really I like talk about pins, buy pins, sell pins, review pins. Mostly have a pin podcast, have a pin blog, make things. So yeah, all kinds of things pin related. Hey, good morning, Sarah. So um, what is the I would definitely say I'm addicted to pens. Hey, Mary Beth D, I know you. I think I might know you. Um, what's the story here, Jim? Do we have a story? Yeah, like that's my exact question, Evan, because I've never seen anything like this. But it doesn't look aftermarket to me. Or is it? Or maybe the trim is. Is this like Bocamundo treated? So he's got some other pictures of here. Oh yeah, this is aftermarket. Is this a piston? Why is there a why is there a seam on the back of the pen, Jim? Okay, Bocamundo. It is a knockout. I will say that. And it's a piston. That finish is spectacular. I am very <laughs> impressed at that finish. I still got to do my Bocamundo pen. You know, I have a I have a Mont Blanc one forty nine that I just keep for reference. That seems like it would be a perfect bocamundo pin i just got to decide whether i'm going to like actually use that pin regularly i'm not gonna i'm not gonna send something to bocamundo that i'm not going to use regularly and i just don't use my 149 that much um but it seems like it would be the perfect platform for bocamundo to to send to bocamundo so yeah that'd be cool all right i love that finish i might ask you more about that afterwards so um yeah because it's harder for me to pick something that's not just traditionally black based barrel because and i don't have a lot of those types of pens Crisoro, thanks for the follow i don't have a lot of just like basic pens so i'd be covering up something that i maybe like already so i keep thinking that the 149 might be the trick i just have to commit to using it all right all right i think we should start unboxing because this is going to take a while so what I was going to say, what I said earlier, um, Cult Pen sent me a gift for answering their Q&A that I did. Um, there's a link. Someone can put the link in the chat to the little questions that I they answered. I appreciated the fact that they asked me, what products do you like that we don't carry that we should look into? I thought that was a great question. Um, I appreciate you know companies that think that way. So I, w I was happy to write that question down. So we can, we can look at that later. So... Um, Got cult pens. I have um, Masubi, and I have Yoseka, which I didn't open. This box came last Thursday. I just hadn't had time to open it. So the longer I waited, the more I figured I'd just wait and open it for this stream. So uh, cult pens, Masubi, Yoseka, and then we'll hit the then we'll hit the roadie box. There should be 10, 10 different roadies in this box. So we're gonna save that for last. So um, that's that's the story right now. All right, Tyler, you ready? Mm -hmm. We're gonna open the. So what we're gonna do, in case you you don't know how this works, mm -hmm. like I'll open it. You're gonna open. You're gonna take the product out, and you're gonna give me your thoughts on what it is. Okay. okay. All right. So let's do the first one. Have any of you seen any side by side comparisons of the new versus old Tomoe River paper? So Daryl at Masubi. Um, just updated his post with some new versus old. The new looks very flat to me. Um, do you know of any good pens for writing? I'm in school again and I write a lot, but think about getting a filling pen. So like a fountain pen, if you want a good like writing fountain pen for school that's durable, refillable, can take cartridges, things like that, look at the Pilot Metropolitan. That's a pretty easy, easy um, pen to get started with. And then there's a lot of other things around there. So this is the Cult Pens. So, oh, whoops, Tyler's, Tyler's already throwing stuff. So my my little invoice has one of these cool little paper clip guys, little binder clip smiley guys. Safari greater than Metro? I, I agree. I agree, Patrick, but I recommend the uh, Metro over the Safari basically for people who um, I don't know how their grips are, right? Because the Safari has the molded grip section. Pilot Capless Matte Black? Heck, that's an amazing pen. I mean, that's a way step up pin, but 
it's it's an amazing pin any pilot capitalist pin is super fantastic all right show everyone what we have i don't know what this looks like yet so it's a karen dash 849 and it's the cult pins model does it have cult pins on there no i think it's just a special color for cult pins so this is a really deep dark blue um almost purpley but it's a navy blue i think yeah, this I like is the color. you like the color on this one so this is what I'm getting made for the pin attic, but it's going to be orange and it's going to have the pin attic logo on this side here. So, um, so yeah, it's a great color. You can see it kind of matches my shirt. So like, we'll just we'll just throw this one in right here. So thank you, Cult Pins. I think this is an ex exclusive color for them. Um, in my little binder clip, dude. Was there anything else in there? Oh, was that the box it came in? Oh yeah. So. So Cult Pins ponied up for the box for their custom. I did not pony up for the box for my custom. It was too expensive for, I was already ex spending a premium on the pin. So when I get the pin attic ones, hopefully in the next month or two, they're just gonna have the basic um, cardboard box. So the new Nespresso color is purple and it looks fantastic. That might be the first Nespresso one I have to get. Is it? Yeah, it's in my little clip. Sorry, bud. What? Um, is it going to be a fountain pen or like a ball? Pen? It's a ballpoint pen. It's going to be just like this. And it'll be orange. The builds. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Thanks for the host. That's awesome. I appreciate it. So, yeah. So mine will be orange, like pen addicting orange, but actually a little bit brighter. Um, so, yeah, it'll be cool. All right. But no, just pre warning, y'all. No fancy box for my pen. It would have raised the price like $6 a pen, and I love y'all, but I think we'll just go with the cardboard box and we'll sell them for less. So that was, that was my justification. Y'all know my stance on packaging. I don't really want to charge a lot of extra for packaging if I don't have to, even though, admittedly, these are heckin' cool boxes. Was that it in there? Yes. All right, so keep this for trash. Um... And I'll keep this over here. All right. Whew. They could probably get a bigger quantity. Yeah, maybe so. And there's less like shipping involved. They're, you know, closer. I don't know if that has anything to do with it too. But um, does every member of the pen addict household have a favorite pen? That's a great question. Do you have a favorite pen? I like the Lamy ones. The Lamy ones. Um, one of your most used pens is a the rollerball uh, retro 51 the computer the computer uh, memory board one circuit one from anderson pins you know the green one mm -hmm. i use i use the pink robot one the most oh the pink robots the most yeah so oh that's true it is no longer eu thank you jim yeah so tyler does the the first retro 51 i got him was the anderson pins one i forget what they call it, the the circuit board one which it's a really cool computer looking pin Wasn't but isn't that the second one got me the baseball oh one. the baseball one was first yeah so the terabyte i got him that one i think he uses the most for a while because he broke the clip off of that one that tells you it was it was well loved and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then pink robots you use the most mm -hmm, but no. but then you like the lamy safari too what color is your lamy uh navy blue navy blue okay cool i couldn't remember oh kind it has like a greenish too okay Awesome. All right. So, all right. You ready for box number two? Mm -hmm. I think What's that one? that's just envelopes and stuff. I brought back my, uh, the chips, the member chips that I send to people. I filled out the envelopes here on stream. So, all right. This one's a bit heavier. This one is a bit heavier. This one's from Masubi. So, um, number one, the shipping time for Masubi coming from Singapore to me, DHL was four days, I think. Is that good? Yeah, that's really good. So yeah, I'll have to look at the order um, to see. That's slow for him. It, it, it knocked my socks off, basically. I mean, Daryl knocks my socks off anyway. He knows I love him. But I couldn't believe that this got here that quickly. So um, if you're not feel familiar with Masubi, 
Um, someone throw uh, Masubi's link in here while I open this up, just so we can keep this moving. Um, if you're not familiar with Masubi, um, I've bought several notebooks and pen cases from Daryl over the years, and when I see him at pen shows, but they're always to give away. I don't own a single Masubi product. Um, so I made this order after the Tomoe River conversation in the past couple weeks. Um for myself so like this is stuff for me finally i'm gonna get my own masubi product so we'll let tyler open this up and see see what we've got here yes yeah, singapore's on the other side of the world tyler just you know map relation wise it's like it's south of japan ish like for, for your brain yeah well i'm not giving you the knife so figure it out <laughs> You have six? Yeah, I have zero, so we'll see. This is probably going to be my next notebook. I'm halfway through the current notebook I'm using, so this will probably be my next because I didn't buy this notebook to not use it because we're going to play a game with Tyler when we get to the notebook in a second, so um, so no one spoil any any notebooks. You probably know what I'm alluding to, but we, we want to hold this. We want to hold this game. Daryl goes serious with the bubble wrap? Yeah, all right. There's a lot of tape on the bubble wrap here, so... One more. I wasn't right. really trying to like. Daryl's dad. Alright, see if you can get that now. Okay, settle down, Patrick. Alright, Elizabeth wants to come say hi, so Elizabeth will drop by here in a second. Ooh. Okay, so that was the reaction. Ooh. Open it up. So what is it? So hold it up a little bit higher. I said it's, stick. <laughs> it's not a stick, it's a divider. So it's a pin case. So I'm not to stick that no, it's fine. So um, it's one of their pin sleeves. So this is the divider that has to go back in here. So we can pop that in there. So yeah, I ordered this for me. What's like, that supposed to be? Like the it's design. so the design is a tr traditional Japanese wave design. Do you see how the visual makes it look like waves, mm -hmm. right in the ocean? So you know, Japanese is an island, so there's a lot of water art. Um, like historically in Japan. So um, very, very, very beautiful. Um, this one's navy, so I went with navy. I almost went with the uh, the green one, but I, I, I think I would like the navy um, on it. So your waves are upside down. That's funny. So does this just, is there a spot for the divider on the inside? Like it'll set in? How does the divider actually work? I'm assuming that's what this is, right? So goes in there so yeah I've bought I either gave away the um, the green one or the purple one before but this one I bought for me coach albino three months of subbing thank you so much turn these alerts on and off I went white. Daryl told me to get a color I'd never get otherwise, so I would stand out. That's a good philosophy in general for those of us that have a lot of pins and products is to buy a color you wouldn't normally buy. So this, uh, I'm really concerned about this divider. <laughs> How am I supposed to use this? Okay, so we'll figure that out. So yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I love the materials, so... It's gonna. It's a. It's a pretty, pretty hard soft case if that's such a thing. So, it's got some structure to it, but it's not overly, overly hard. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. Approved. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. What else is in the box, or in the envelope? I'm pretty sure I bought two notebooks. It is very bubbly wrapped. All right, I'll throw that over there. 
Well, have this paperwork. Secretary, I want to see. Oh, looks like I have a note from Daryl. <laughs> you need to snap the uh, the snap, tapes. I snap most of it. Yeah, I got it. Gotta keep that paperwork, yo. We are making a pretty good mess up here. Alright, so this one, what do you think? So this is a notebook. So this is this is something I might give away. We'll see on this, or I might just hold it for myself. I bought one of the system notebooks. What do they call these? Tomo System Folio Notebook A5 Tomoe River 52 GSM Cross Grid. These are basically the uh, Nanami 7C style, but with a better cover and whiter. I like the white tone of the Tomoe River. So, yeah. So this is just a really, really solid choice for the notebook. So this is this is the Masubi basic notebook. So it has the really thin paper for it's really good for fountain pens. So it makes your fountain pen ink show up like really bright. Like if you have a bright blue, it shows up like really really nice. Purple. Purple. Yes, purple would be good. You got blank 3. Okay, good morning, Rebus. All right, what's next? Ooh, we got another ooh out of Tyler, so you know this is the good stuff. So hold it up real quick before you open it. Hold it up, show it to the camera. So that, and show them the side, yep. So this is this is the one that got the ooh. Yeah, we're doing a Masubi right now. So this is a slip case for... That's fancy. So it is fancy. Can y'all hear Tyler when he talks? I could probably scoot this a little closer. Well, we don't want that to show there. Fancy. Fancy? Is that how you... Is that your fancy words? Sure. Sure. Why is it so hard to get out? Let's see. All right. Is there seriously something right there? No, it's just really tight. All right, so hold that one up and tell us what you think about it. I like the color and the design. What does it feel like? Feels like it, like, someone like made it like like well obviously someone made it but the, I feel like it was just like one person who just made the front mm -hmm. like the fabric feels different and mm -hmm. like it feels feels special right I like this one better than that one he likes this one better than that one so you can speak up a little bit what's this tab for what's the tab for I don't know oh it's a um it's a uh, grid sheet, so you put it behind the page here, so you can see. I'll show you all this in just a second, so you can write like that. So this is a blank notebook. I think did I so. This is the bank pe bank paper. So this is the handbound journal special edition iridescent in indigo bank paper. So I like the uh, Japanese denim style. Like I like the darker blue, either the denims or the wool notebooks. Um, and I got this one with the bank paper since I got that one with Tomoe River paper. Um, so we're going to play a game with Tyler wait. right now. What? Uh, Speak up. What if, wait, what if you want to, where's that grid thing at? Right here. So, oh, here's the grid. So this is just basically your back sheet. Oh, you I thought use. it was in here. Yes, I got the sparkly indigo. So, I, I thought this was in here, so I was like, what if you want to have it at the front? Yeah, you move it. That's why there's a tab on it, so you can grab it out. Easier. Yeah, that's a, I thought I was in the back. All right. Should we bank paper I've chosen poorly? I, I, if you dislike it, that means it's pretty good. So, um, <laughs> Dang. Um, all right, throw that trash down there. Is there anything else in there? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's, here's the game we're going to play. Okay. How much did your father spend on that notebook? Oh, this is my favorite uh, Masubi game. Probably more than you can count. <laughs> Probably more than I can count. You're not far off. Oh. 
JD Lady, 23 months. Look, 23 months. See, told you. Nice. Thank you, JD Lady. All right. So um, how much? How much does this did this notebook cost? Well, first, uh, what paper cost more? What paper cost more? What do you mean between these two types of paper? They're similar. The insides cost somewhere close to each other. A hundred bucks. That's a pretty good guess. It was around a hundred dollars for this notebook. Ooh. So I just pulled up the Masubi page over here to the side. Now Tyler sees how how wild it is. So let me uh, let me pull up the exact Zoop Doop. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate you. All right, Dowdy Round Two has entered has entered the battle. There's Elizabeth. So where is my handbound diary A five? Uh, is this in labs? I'll pull this up on the screen in just a second. Let me find it. Iridescent indigo. So 155. Yeah, 100. Tyler was exactly right. Is 100 to 105 dollars. So that was a hey, good guess. So let me put this in there. Say yes. hey, Elizabeth. Hey. What kind of currency is that? SJD. Singapore SJD. dollars. Singapore dollars. So this is the one I bought. Iridescent indigo bank paper. So, it's it's stunning. It's it's absolutely perfect for me. It's everything I want in a notebook. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it's summertime here. We don't know if and when we're going back to school. So that's a thing. Is that what all opened? This is what we've opened so far. We got two more boxes to go. So I think Tyler is kind of fascinated with this, right? I mean, you keep picking it up. That's good to be. Like, you should be good to be fascinated with. Um, yeah, new notebook is here. Sorry, y'all can't eat today because it cost me a hundred dollars to buy this notebook. That was our grocery bill. Sorry. Okay. Tyler's fine. With it. Tyler's gonna eat the paper out of this, um, which I wouldn't put past him. So there you go. You'll be seeing uh, probably a lot of this notebook because I'm finally gonna keep one for myself. So this one's mine. I had to eat when I eat the other one. Even supposing we get a decision on the 21st. 21st. So right now, our regular opening date is August, August 3rd. 3rd, but we'll um, we'll know more on um, April 21st. All right, so here's a question I have for you Misubi fans. Is there an orientation to this? Like, I don't see, it seems like um, exactly the same start no matter front or back like you can pick whichever way test your pen and ink combos before you use them with bank paper so i have a bank paper pad hopefully it's somewhat similar oh this is the front the front does the front have the the thick page that's probably or does the back have it too oh the back they both have it so yeah this is like a it's like a palindrome notebook no matter which way you, it's spelled the same no matter which way you turn it so yeah, I enjoy the bank paper for a change. And I plan it like this notebook, I bought it because it won't be a strictly fountain pen notebook. If I was going to get a strictly fountain pen notebook, I would have gotten Tomoe River, which is why I bought this one. So, um, but I use other pens and pencils in my commonplace book. How do you do like giveaways? Like, how do you choose? Like, so, I use it, there's an app. So let's take a break and we'll talk about the giveaway that I have going right now. It's a great question, Tyler. Tyler's a professional. He just segued. Um, I got iridescent indigo bank paper. So yeah, that's why I chose bank paper for this one was because I know I will use more than fountain pens. Uh, probably I will probably use fewer fountain pens than other other pens that's the oh well i knew you had good taste alan i knew you had good taste so and i got the uh which uh, what are they calling this the system notebook tomo system and then i got a uh pen sleeve two pen sleeve so tyler asked how do you manage your giveaway so let's show you so today you should all want to go to penaddict.com Ooh, tyler ooed this pen pencil so i'm giving away the Rotring 600 Matter Red, one of the new red color Rotrings. And I have this app here 
that I can embed into the website on the back end that allows people to go in and register for this. So when it ends on Friday night, I go to the app website and say, pick a winner. And that's that's all I have to do. It's very easy. It's called Gleam. Oh, can you do it now and show me? Like, not just no. give away like, anything? I'll show you at home what the back end of the website looks like because I don't want to log into it now. Oh, you have to log in? Yeah, yeah. So I can't click this. I have to go and log in and look up all my login information, and I, I don't even know it. So we'll do that. So that's how I manage the login. So y'all should go. Um, I bought the blues for myself. So I bought the blue pencil and the blue ballpoint for me. Jeff's getting the green ballpoint to review, and I'm giving away the .7 red pencil. So I started the... Um, Yes, I have too many too many entries in the in the giveaways. Your odds are have have now gone in the crapper, everybody. Sorry about that. I would never do that to you, Tony. I, the only name I Mike doesn't enter these, but if Mike ever would have won the uh, the members giveaway, um, I usually don't include him in that. But that's about it, Mike Hurley. So so he doesn't get to win anything. But uh, I, I would totally, I would totally give, give something away to you, Tony. All right, we got another box, Tyler. I think there might be a, I might have put a roach ring in this box. Spoke one or no, the Yoseka box. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do Yoseka stationary box now. There, let me open it up for you. So we got a big box from Yoseka. I ordered. Um, I mentioned last week that they started carrying the <laughs> one on your first try nonsense. Um, I mentioned how they carry the magazines that I like to buy from Japan. I like to get like one a year is enough because they're like $20 magazines, but they have all the stationery. It's just like the cool stationery magazine. Um, and then I added, since I got the magazine, I added some other stuff in here. Hey, good morning, Thunder Viking. All right, so we can put the trash over there. Let's see what we got. I know at least two of the things in here, but I can't remember everything. That can't be everything. It isn't. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping not. What amazing things have you missed so far? You missed uh, Cult Pins, Karen Dash 849 exclusive, and you missed the Masubi unboxing. I had two notebooks and a pen sleeve. So we got a note... Oh, look at the cool Yoseka sticker. You want to read that first? Um, I, don't, I try not to read the notes out loud that people send me. Oh. Is this your $20 magazine? Yeah. Oh, and they included uh, a little something extra in there. Just saying. So Daisy and Neil, uh, they thanked me for my order. And then uh, I'll go over the Masubi again because they're, it, the notebook is – I, I, I want to stop right now and start using the notebook. I'm that happy with it. So we'll, we'll flip back to the notebook. Do you just look at the picture? Yeah, pretty much. So let me show you this one. Oh, yeah, it's backwards. Right? right. So this was – I don't even know the name of this magazine. But this is the one I ordered. So it's got the, the Sheen on front. So uh, Daisy and Neil – from Yoseka, super nice people to work with. I, I ordered this one, and then they they sent me the ink in there too. So they sent me this one for free. So appreciate it. Shout out to uh, shout out to Yoseka Stationery. But what these are, it's they're just they're just fun to have. Um, the Shiyun, I swear, everyone's pictures on social media of Shiyuns look better than the PR pictures. Like this one looks great. Like everyone's uh, like the Instagram pictures of the Sheen, I think look fantastic. So this is the book that uh, Kelly reviewed on Mountain of Ink. Stop doing that while I'm, I'm talking because you can hear that. <laughs> we'll do it in just a second. So it's really just this cool reference. Like there's Pilot uh, Platinum's classic lineup. So it's just all kinds of different uh, different inks. So that's what this this is the ink book. So what do we have here? Statler. Is this um. Tasha, Twisby, so all kinds of cool ink references here. So that's the entire book is 
is uh, just ink. And then this is just a, like a, a magazine. I don't, it's probably quarterly, but it just talks about like new pen products, things like this. So now that Yosek is carrying them, like how this is just it's like in, it's like a, a real world instagram it's called a magazine kids i'm not sure if y'all know these do you know what a magazine is tyler mm -mm. yeah <laughs> so yeah um it's just i just buy these to to check out all the awesome awesome stuff uh, sometimes you find new stuff in here too so it's very cool i remember when uh there's like a fundraiser or something at our school and like for like every month, uh, we would get like, or like the people who got that part of the fundraiser would get like a sports magazine mm -hmm. for like a whole year or something. Yep. Didn't you get it once? You get used mm -hmm. to get like Sports Illustrated for kids or something. Uh, Karen Dash. Karen Dash has the uh, ad spot on the back covers, FYI. Full glossy Karen Dash ad adverts on the back side there. I have a question for you. All right. What's your favorite ink color and pen color? Favorite ink color is probably blue black. Favorite pen color that's a little bit harder. And probably orange. Combination. Favorite combination. Ooh, I have that. You know that galaxy pen I have with the space with the uh, planets on it. That's the one that you showed me. And all his mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that one has like a blue black ink. It's called Sukiyo in it. So it's very very nice. So that's kind of my favorite. Go is, to. It, is it possible to like go from like one ink or one like color to the other? Yes, as long as you clean it out, so you can fill it up like, with ink and with one thing, like just like one stroke. Yes, if your pen is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so you could take like a green ink, and you can have different shades of that green ink. Like it could be a little bit more yellow, or it could be a little bit darker. But your green ink won't really turn into orange ink kind of thing sometimes there's ink characteristics that when the ink dries it shows it looks like a different color like green ink with orange on the top or something like that or orange with green on the top but not it's not really made to draw lines um there's a gel ink that is mixed you know those magic pencils that you've that i've gotten y'all before with the three oh, yeah. different colors there's a gel pen that's that. the same kind of thing um i'll have to show you i have some at home Tyler was behind the scribble pen the whole time. Exactly. What's that? <laughs> it's a joke pen that that's people try to sell on the internet. internet. Oh, uh, so Evan, Evan's daughter Luna, is two-year-old, says, uh, my two-year-old daughter Luna just said, watching Tyler makes me happy. See? <laughs> say hi. Tell Luna hi. 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 Say hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. <laughs> hi, Luna. All right. What do we got next? Oh, dang, there's a bunch of things. So, what's this? Ooh, yeah, I forgot I ordered this. What do you think? Sorry. Show every show, show the class. Is this a pencil? Show the class. This is a pencil. All right, can you see it? So, you try to hold it. I know the lighting's not good, so you try to show them so where they can see it. It's like so pink. It's, it's pink, yeah. So, they have these, um, pen, a new set of Pentel Graph Gears came out with color barrels. So, this is pretty cool. It's so pink. So it's a, it's a mechanical pencil, and they did like five colors of these. I hadn't seen them before. I was just browsing on Yoseka, and you know I love my mechanical pencils. The Graph Gear 1000 is one of the best ever made, and then they have cool barrel colors. I mean, that's a Brad product if there ever was one. Like, I, count me in. So I think they had like blue, orange, I don't know. There were about five colors, so forgot I ordered this. Yeah. That'll be uh, that'll be when I do my uh, autobiography. That'll be my autobiography title. Forgot I ordered this. I but yeah, I did. All right, cool. What's next? Oh, I seen your pictures of this. Yeah, like three of them. What is it? Show it. Show the show the class. Oh yeah, I ordered another Rotring. I think I lied to Jeff saying I was sending in the green one. I think is this I ordered. Your giveaway pen? It's different. So this is a pen, not a pencil. So I ordered the red ballpoint because that's what Jeff wanted to review for the pen addict. And when I ordered them from Jet Pens, they didn't have them. So I got the red one from Yoseka so I can send this to Jeff. 
how heavy are the graph gear pencils it's a good question they've never struck me as overly heavy um i mean the let me grab it again um let's see here what are the pictures of like the three there's a blue one a red one and a green one oh, of this color them. i should have opened them they're open at home now well i want a picture like Oh, I will. I will eventually do it. Right. Um, this is not heavy at all, but it's a full metal section with uh, grip on there. Retractable pipe. So, sorry, I'm. Retractable pipe with the. Uh, so it's like a double click. So it's a click to eject here, click to extend. And then clip to retract the pipe. Oh, so, I would not say this is heavy at all. This is 0. 0.5. I pretty much go for 0.5s, like 0.3s, as you would think I would like, but I they're not really my jam. They're they're really too too tiny, too fragile, too fragile. So, um, whoever asked if this is heavy, oh, love loveless. I would say for a mechanical pencil, this is not heavy. Two millimeter leads, I'm down with that too. 0.5s and two millimeters, that's where it's at. All right, what do we got? Okay. I've seen this logo somewhere. We'll show, like show the people. Ubisoft thing. It's like the Ubisoft thing, show people. Like when you're talking about things, you gotta make sure everyone can see what you're talking about. So like Tyler said, he's seen this logo before and it looks like Ubisoft, so there you go. I feel like that might be wrong. Right well, it's not know. a Ubisoft pen, so. Yeah. How do you like that syringe? I haven't used it yet, so I have I cleaned out all my pens yesterday. I have one fountain pen inked up, and it's the Curidos, and I would have cleaned it out if I didn't have to continue to uh, have it inked for a review. Um, so when I go to ink a new round of fountain pens, I will I will use the syringe, but I just put it all with my um, I just put it with all my cleaning supplies. This is very fancy. So say it out loud. This like. This looks fancy because it has foam around it. <laughs> it's fancy because it has foam around it. <laughs> I like the box, too. You like the box? We'll show everyone. Show everyone what the box is that you like. Like, if you like, so if you say you like something, you got to show everyone what you like. All right, so this is the Twisby 580 Prussian Blue. Yoseka was one of the few people that still had it in stock. I, I will use it to clean, but I, I did need it uh, yesterday. And actually, I forgot about it when I was cleaning out. But I could have used it when I was cleaning out the Con 70. I just used another regular basic syringe. That would have been perfect for that. So can you get it out? Yeah, Twisby has little weird tapes on the side. We'll play the guessing. We'll, we'll play the guess the price game with Tyler on Twisby too. That'll be another good one. This will be a good test. So he nailed he nailed the Masubi. I was shocked. He nailed the Masubi like right on the dollar. All right, here, don't worry about those. They'll keep falling apart. All right. Let me show everyone. So, what do you what do you think about this pen? I like the color because it's very blue. So that's the five. Go ahead. Is there any green pens today? Is there any green pens today? Maybe in the roadie box. We'll have to see. Twisby is fancy because it has foam. <laughs> yeah. So I just love the uh, the detail on this, and I bought the stub nib to test out. So this will maybe become my new ink testing pen. So I like using the Twisby Piston Fillers for ink testing. I've used a mini in the past. Um, it's just a great pen. It's been a long time since I've bought a Twisby 580. So there you go. That's the Prussian Blue 580. All right, Tyler. How much does this pen cost? Is it more than a notebook? I'm just asking you to tell me how much this pen cost. There's no, there's no secret. There's no hints or, or anything. Um, I kind of alluded to that, Sarah, but not really. Like, he kind of got it on his own. I, I think I just said it was expensive, but that's kind of relative, right? All right, see, even supposing. Yes, Lurlenny, this is a great color. 150? 150 on the Twisby 580. I was going to say, like, 70, but then I saw, like, the ring. Well, your, your first guess 
your second guess would have been right. It's about 70 bucks. So that just, we did this because Twisbees, they, they play up a little bit, like on the 580s, right? You know, how much, I'd forget exactly how much this one was, but it was like in that 65 to 75 range, right? I don't think it was 80. Stick with my gut. Probably would it should have sticked with your gut. Yeah, probably so. So yeah, but it's a really good quality pin for the price. Like, it's really, really cool. So yeah, it's great. Very cool. Um, was that it out of that Yoseko box? Yes. Sir. Okay. So. I want to see that. You want to see what? Yeah, You're ready for the roadies? No, I want to see the Ubisoft. Oh, he's going to look up the Ubisoft logo to see how. All right. Are we gonna, we're going to put the fancy foam back in the box. 62? Okay. Good. That's a, such a great price. Oh, the um, the oh. rose gold one was 80, right? The 580 rose gold one. That one was more expensive than, than these. Yes. I mean, eh. Not that close. Oh no, that's not that close. I, I thought it was one else. Yeah. You're probably thinking of like the uh the caution like nuclear waste logo. Mm -hmm. That logo, yeah. I've All right. seen that before The best one, I hope. Alright, break it out. Let me get some something to drink. Alright. So, this is the first time I'm seeing these two in their final form. I've only seen them in parts. So, like, the roadie comes in, like, five different parts. So, my job was me and Brian spent, like, two hours taking caps, clips, barrels, grip sections, and the top finial, and sorting out what color matches we wanted to make <clears throat> to build out our initial Rodia offering when when we sell it right now we're behind on clips clips have been tough all year our clip factory in china is just really really slow but they're supposed to arrive this week which means we can build them next week and hopefully have them for sale soon all right i'm just trying to make sure that this isn't that's that was a, that was a brian's thing and you kind of so, joined in, I guess? Yeah. Or did he invite you? But the, his initial reason for spoke, because he made a mechanical pencil, which I don't have a sample of here, and it looked like it was had spokes in the barrel. So it was the barrel design. You know how the notches are out of the barrel? No. You know how they have cutouts in them? Oh. Yeah. So. All right. I don't want to look at this. I'm going to let Tyler give his thoughts. I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, it's in a pen case. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you can bring out one at a time, okay? Here's a free pen case. It is a free pen case, yes. It's this here. It's this big rubber silicone pen case. We used to have like, feels one funny. like those. It's funny feeling. It feels yeah. like slimy kind of. Oh, it's called the Kobe Mini. It's a tool. It's basically like a tool pouch. All right, so Tyler, seriously, I don't want you to open all these at a time. So just like reach in and grab one at a time and then hold it up and tell everyone what you think. Oh, and I'm going to get the, I need, I need to get the naming conventions out. But, so Tyler says, ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, one at a time. So. Oh, what's the name of this? This is the one that's on the list for naming. Like, I need a name for this one. So Broncos. this one, yeah, that's exactly what we said, but it'll never be. It's not going to be Bron Broncos or Florida Gators. So blue cap, silver clip, orange finial, orange barrel. And this is uh, like a by. like a stone washed uh, grip section. So this is so I need a name for this one. We'll come back to this one, but so be thinking on a name for this colorway. I think but one's out of the cap thing. that's fine. Just wait. Just don't pull on that one yet. So what the roadie is is a short Parker style refill pin. Oh, this one has a refill in it. So. Um, so it's meant to be pocketable, portable. We're using the Jetstream SXR refill in there. We have a little disc in there to prevent any metal on metal crime. We had Desert Sky. Desert Sky, Blue Goldstone. Hang on, I'm, I I got to pay attention to these names. Let hold off your names, and we'll come. We'll do that at the end, so I can actually pay attention to them. So. 
it's a really pretty combination. I love the silver clip and the orange finial on this one. That's pretty sick. So hang on, don't open another one. Let me get this naming list out. So I'll have these later. It's a whole that thought. Yeah, we're gonna do no sports names, no college names, but we're gonna do fun names. So let's see here. I'm wondering, this might be the only one that we don't have a name for. This one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the last color you said? Red, blue, green. That's it. There's two blue ones in there. There's a blue pencil and a blue ballpoint. This is the, Tyler's asking me rotary questions. <laughs> All right, can we do the next one? All right, so we're going to come back to this one. Brian has some suggestions in here. This one doesn't have an official name. A, a name it doesn't have a name that we've settled on. So we're going to hold that one. All right. And you haven't seen any of these? Not completed. No. So hold them up when you see them. So like that one more. It's just Okay, so plastic, this is a I guess. Yeah, exactly. This is a classic one. You always have to have a black okay. and silver. If you're going to do silver and black barrels, you got to do a combo. So we're going to have this no matter what. So this this looks really sharp with the different, um, with the silver finial on. And this has the uh, sandblasted titanium grip on it. So sandblasted titanium, black cap, silver finial. And this silver finial, I don't know if you can see it on here. This is a stamped not a printed finial that's impossible to see so this has a stamped logo on it as opposed to a printed logo so we have a uh, so yeah we have uh, so what do we have for this one we have tux tuxedo outlaw mayfield dazzle is what's listed for this one outlaw. so we'll come back on this one so we'll come back we'll come back on names save those names but yeah, I mean, Tux just seems like the right, the right guy, right, right name for that one. All right, next, give me a surprise. We got some neat stuff in here too. Ooh. So we got an ooh. So hold it up. Yeah. Blue and purple. Blue and purple. Oh, look at the clip. Yeah. So we have some surprises in here, chat. Can you see that clip? It's like rainbow. It's a rainbow treated clip. So, it's like when you like um, blue torch stuff. Yeah, these are like anodized. We have three or four different colors of anodized clips coming. So I'm loving. So this is a printed. You can see the difference here. This is a printed stamping on the top as opposed to the tux, which is a uh, printed. Let's see what kind of grip we have in here. So we have a faded. We have a. Uh, uh, what's the what's the word I'm looking for a gradient grip on this so it's part anodized gradient into uh, titanium so that's this guy this one we're pretty much going with blurple on like you just have to name this one blurple blurple <laughs> right so what do you think that's pretty hot I'm not gonna lie that's pretty hot like that's a killer matchup right there. So what do y'all think? Oh, just wait, OQ. We got more to go. I think there's 10 of these in here that we're going to decide. Um, and I've opened three, so I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. So yeah, that clip is just hot. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say, chat. Like, this is my product, right? Like you know disclosure for those who don't know me like i'm part of the company that makes these so i'm clearly biased so i just want y'all to know that um let me make sure i'm reading the right one yeah so this one's blurple that name's done so we're gonna put this in a different group where's the case no case the plastic did it have no a sleeve case. no case okay so blurple's done we're gonna name that one all right <clears throat> Hmm. Undecided? Do I 
guys you see these everywhere. All right. Well, That's why. you got to have some basics. This is the all silver one, right? This is one of our more popular um, standard spokes was an all silver that we didn't make hardly any of. But when we showed them off, everyone wanted it. So this is the full silver treatment. Do we have a name on this one? We don't have a name on this one. Um, I kind of like Airstream. <laughs> I like Brian put Airstream on this one. So this is the silver anodized bar barrel, um, shiny titanium grip, silver cap. Can't really see it. Wait, is, oh, is that a magnet? We will all, they're, they're all magnet clips, so it's a magnet on the top and on the back, so you can write with it. Can I see it? Um, just like Swilliam says, we will always have standards because they sell more. Like, we all love this. Like, we all love this. I'll probably sell more of these, right? We're just going to have this. It's just the way it works, right? So we, so we do both. We're in the position to do both, which I love. Like, that's my favorite thing. Like, I will never, for knock, I will never sell more cases that are a color than I will of black. Black will always be the number one seller, usually by like two or three times the amount. So it's just gonna be that way. Yeah, Cal, uh, Brian wrote down Airstream for this. He also wrote down Shiner, Scratch, Streak. I kinda like Airstream. I think Airstream's pretty dope for this one. Um, we'll revisit that one. I kinda like Airstream for that. That's a great name, yeah. Yeah. But is this the same one? No, it is not. Brighter, I'm guessing? Yeah. I like this one. Take it out of the case. All right. So, I know the name of this one. So, this one's different than the first one we saw, and I'll explain to you why. <clears throat> Scratch was our initial name, Evan, because these are going to get dinged up, right, for EDC use. So can you tell me the difference between that pin and this pin? Oh, they're opposite, and uh, the, this is like a teal. Yeah, so this is cyan and orange. So this is a cyan blue, so it's bright. It's got the cyan clip, cyan finial, and stonewashed, um, I'm sorry, sandblasted titanium grip. I love this one. This one's going to be called Biscayne. Like, we're pretty settled on the name on that one. What's that? Um, it's a Miami type of color. So, this is just really, really good looking. It's really sharp with the clip and the um, the grip. I really, really love this. What so, about, like, bay? Yeah, so Biscayne is a bay. So, Biscayne Bay. So, that's what this one is. Really, really sharp. I love these clips. These clips came out really good. So this clip is different than the rainbow one on Blurple. This one's a straight up, this is a blue anodized clip. So it's bright and it's got a little bit of that shimmer shine to it. So it's really cool. And that, that, that finial just pops. I think that's a good setup. All right. Next. Do you need a case? I got it. Oh, this must be for this one. Here's the cap. Thank you. So can we name, so going back to this one, can we name this Airstream and not get sued? I'm sure we can. <laughs> All right. Don't know how I feel about this one. Don't know how I feel about this one? This one's one of my favorites. <laughs> so if Tyler doesn't like it, you, will, you should know that I absolutely love what this one is. I think this is the first one I made. Out of all the Lego parts we had out, I think this is the first one I made. And I made some early on that we scrapped. This one stuck. I like this one. So what do we got here? This will be like, this will be the first one. Out of all these we've picked so far, this one's my favorite. I can't remember what else is coming. I might have another favorite. but So hold that one rainbow up. Rainbow clip. So it's green and orange. It's got the rainbow clip. Orange finial. Y'all know I love orange anyway. And it'll have the... Uh, It'll have the gradient grip section. Do you like orange or blue better? Uh, it depends on what they look like. Mostly orange. So this one has the gradient grip. This one's called Gecko. Gecko. 
Yeah, because it's got the shiny, it's got the rainbow grip and the rainbow clip. Like it can change in mm -hmm. color. Yep. So this one's super, super cool. This is my favorite so far. I can't remember the rest of them we have in here. Like if I'm going to, the first one I'm going to write with and first one I'm going to use for myself is going to be this one. This is the one I'm going to carry. I, I just, I, I just adore it. Like, like how can you not look at that? That's sick. I know I'm I know I'm pimping my own goods here, but I'm just in love with this pen. That's mine. So I'm gonna put this one. That one goes here. That one's done. That one's called Gecko. And um I love it. Alright. Next. I like this one. Okay, Tyler likes this one. This is a ooh. This is an ooh one, he says. I don't know what it looks like yet. Ooh, Ooh. it's this, this has one. multiple oohs, and I don't know what this is. I'm not looking out the corner of my eye. Yeah, this is number one, right? This will be the best seller right here. This one's my favorite. I think this is the best one we made. Right on the top. So this one's called Icy. <gasps> Bright red and cyan. So this one is going to be called Icy. If we can call this one Icy, we can call the other one Airstream, I feel. Um, this, this is my favorite. This I think will be the best one that we do. This one's just killer. It's got the shiny chrome. This just pops in so many different ways, right? I like, I just feel like this is really, really the ticket. Like, I think this will be our best seller, which is different than what would be the one that's my favorite, right? Like, I think this is the best one so far. Like, they're all great, right? This one, there's something about this setup pops with the cyan and red. Like, those colors are made to go together. And the silver, the silver trims and the, uh, and the grip, it, it really all makes it come together. So, I'm thrilled with this one. This one's going to be hot. It's all in how you spell it. It's got to be I-C-E-E, -E, right? got to be ICEE -E. why cuz that's how what the brand is named bomb pop that's another good name probably won't do anything with bomb in it though probably not a good the best idea here what here's the next pen all right Tyler has the next pen what do you got <laughs> empty tubes you trickster all right how many is that 1 2 like this one would be jerky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What'd you say? No, I don't know. Hold it up. Yeah, I don't think these colors go together. <laughs> Tyler's wrecking our choices right here. Black, purple, and that weird blue. One. Yeah. So this is the darker kind of uh, purple. What do we have for a name on this one? So which one is this? black purple blue clip uh gradient grip so that's just a classic look what is i don't know what this one's called where's barrel barrel black oh okay yeah this is cosmos yeah very happy with how this one came out oh without the without the black that looks good without the black it looks good uh -huh. well, so we gotta have some black the the yeah so it's kind of you know, it's pretty chill like that. You got a little nice clip, nice thing. So this one's called Cosmos. So it's definitely uh, pretty cool. I like that. Doesn't that look like kind of spacey? Yawny. Does it make you yawn? Galaxy. Very galaxy brain. Yeah. Really happy with that. I think that one will do well too. I mean, all these are going to do well. Who am I kidding? All right. Next. What? Yeah, I'm not good. What, are you good, good, or good, bad? Good, bad. Oh, I, I wouldn't spend my money on this. Yeah, Tyler, okay, so this is Tyler's. You Have Have you taken the cap off yet? Not sure if I want to. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, show, show the class. Show them what we got here. So this is Tyler's favorite. This is Tyler's choice so far. If you couldn't tell by his shirt color, all right, hold it up when you open it up so they can see it. Yeah. So 
Let's see here. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't like that. Excuse me. This is yours. You do like this one or don't like this I one? Don't. Oh, this one's great. So this one's black with a brass grip. Sorry, red cap. So this one's super super tight. I love I've this one. This one. See if we came up with a name of this. We obviously thought uh, Iron Man, but I think we're gonna do like Dart on this one. We like Dart for this name. We don't want to go too Iron Manny. But this is super sharp. This one feels like old. we make it. It seems more like the uh, like a Dart, like a uh, you know like the game Darts. That's what this reminded us of. So we're gonna go with Dart on this one. This one. This one also has a black clip. I don't think any of these other one, other ones have a black clip, which just really looks great against the red and the brass. So yeah, you'd prefer a silvery section on this one? Maybe, we could maybe do that. Um, but this is the only one with the brass section, so we're gonna keep that. Have you? So that's pretty good. I've seen this, I'm not sure if Where's my... released it. All right, what else? Darth Maul and the Joker so we did mimic one of our stock um, spoke pens in the Joker because the Joker was so popular we figured people might want to um, mimic what they already have so uh, Joker also has the black clip so this is the same this is the same setup as our big spoke pen for the Joker which is a super popular you know what would be cool like a Joker Funko Pop that holds that a Joker Funko Pop that holds the pen. I think I'd be down for that. That's a good call. So yeah, so that's the Joker, which is one of our, this is the only kind of repeat and then like the tuxedo and the silver are kind of repeat. So that's very cool. Joker's always a hit. What about a Bat Batman blue and black pen? Yeah, so maybe we have a blue and black one that we made, Spoke. but it didn't make this first 10 cut. Um that I like a lot. And that might be a good call, Jim. Is Batman like black and blue or, or can it be black and yellow? Well, so the traditional Batman was a lot of blue and yeah. gray with a black and yellow logo. And then they just made him darker and darker the more modern he got um, and took out a lot of the blues that they used. How old is Batman? When did Batman start? 40s? 1940s? I don't know. Yeah, Batman, which would Could, probably... I remember him being gray and blue, like, mm -hmm. a while ago. Mm -hmm. Ah, because uh, the black, like, the bat suit in black wouldn't show up well in comics or print back in the day, originally. Uh, that makes sense. Was Batman black and red at one point? I don't remember that. That's a great picture, yeah, Jim. Yeah, a good picture. <laughs> Batman Beyond was black and red. All right. Oh, look that up. Batman Beyond. And okay. Batman. So let me look at these names real quick. I think we're good on all this stack here, Cosmo. So we like, we like Airstream for this, right? Let's take this one real quick. So the all silver one. Give me your names for this, if you have anything. Um, or if you like Airstream. I kind of like Airstream, I just as long as we don't get in trouble. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the Batman Beyond logo is black and red. No, let's see if I can find those. Gray Ghost. We have some gray barrels, so we probably won't call this one gray. Batman. Like, I don't have any examples of the gray barrel here. How much are the pins going to be? I wish I could tell you a definitive answer today i can't it's gonna be ballpark of the normal the normal one so just figuring that 60 to 60 70 range i'm guessing right now this one's new? i wouldn't think this is a movie he doesn't look like that mm -hmm. much. you like airstream i like that too uh that's done do we like the the, the simple tuxedo penguin brian has outlaw for this one streamliner mm, i like that I, gotta, I need to write some of these down. This was the Joker. Hang on, buddy. <laughs> I'll stop. Okay. Streamliner's pretty good. Um, all right, how about this guy? Silver Stream. That's good. All 
all right this guy we still like the the basic the basic thing on this one silver surfer we called like our, our large one that one and i don't think we're going to use that officially brass town double wide i know i gotta tell jeff about the double wide to get him make a sample so is this 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 basic basic enough to just keep the basic names like tux tuxedo something along those lines or do you think anything different when you see this penguin i, I like penguin too like tux tux is tux is pretty straightforward like tux <laughs> oh damn it patrick that's pretty funny all right now here's the hard one this is the one that brian and i could not name so like out of nine pins we feel pretty oh evan max credit okay tuck okay i see that evan all right credit to evan this is the only one I, king of ducks you laugh but when i couldn't think of a name for this one i i said we should just call this steve or something like that i'm not even joking hey minecraft steve oh the red and black could be harlequin that's pretty good Lur lenny was right with De desert sky oh i'm dead serious king of ducks i so am i yeah steve harrington i like i'm not even joking like i really couldn't come up with a name for this i'm like how about steve or bob or something like that something that doesn't make any sense whatsoever beach day so this is the single hardest one with that we had george yeah george like those those are great names like something completely just off blorange yeah that'll never happen blorange. sunset yeah i love steve Tyler loves Steve. I do. Uh huh. From Stranger Things, the ice cream guy with the hair. Mm. Oh yeah, when's uh season four coming out? I don't think till like October or something. So yeah, sunset. And bruh. What'd you say? And bruh. And bruh. Not soon enough, Tyler. Section is um just standard shiny titanium. So shiny, shiny. I love lamp. Yeah. It, yeah, like lamp, giraffe. Like all of those things. Waffle, you know. So yeah. Bob, sorry Bob. Sorry Bob. Bob are you a Robert or you're a Bob? You got to be a Robert. There's no one no one's ever called Bob. Prairie Noon. That's a cool name. Larry. Yeah, Scoops, Scoops Ahoy is more this one. If we had the darker blue, we're getting into Scoops Ahoy like this. I thought that was icy. It is, it is. But Scoops Ahoy is dark blue. Like if we had the dark blue, like this guy, the dark blue cap. So we'll have to do a Scoops Ahoy. Bob, Bob, blah, blah. All right. Good stuff, chat. All right, what are we thinking? Are we are we are we good with the roadies? I think I got. I think I have enough names to to solidify something. It's seriously only that one that I'm having trouble with. And I think I think we have something in this list that y'all have recommended. If not, we'll just call it Steve or Bob or Joe. Um, where's my case? Silverwind Silverfish. That's a little creepy. Like, I get the idea. I just don't like to think about that that bug. That's a little, little, uh, little creepy buggy kind of thing. Can it do anything? To silverfish. You? Just look at look up silverfish. <laughs> All right. What else do we need today, chat? We're gonna wrap it up here. That's the ginger, by the way. Mm hmm So, um. Tyler just turned 12, so everyone tell Tyler happy birthday. He's he's the big one too now. As of what Saturday was your birthday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So more musubi. Want to look at the musubis one more time? Can it have any like diseases or something? 
I don't know. I just don't want. That's just <laughs> gross. Like, okay. I know. It's gross. Happy. Look, Tyler. Look, look, look. <laughs> Thank y'all. I need to text Brooks. Tyler, now that you're an adult. So we got, um, yeah, the standard uh, Tomo insert. And. I wish I was in charge. You wish you were in charge? Great. And then, uh, was it like iridescent indigo? Yeah, get off the internet. It's going to be hard for me to wait. I have to finish the current notebook I'm in, then I'll start this one. So it's going to be a little while before I get to it. Your birthday's on Saturday. Happy birthday, Jim. This big, big birthday month for the Dowdy kids. Tyler's the 11th. Elizabeth is the 29th. Uh, all right. Anything else, Tyler, before we wrap it up? No? All right. Oh, nice, Patrick. All right. Anything else we need? We need today chat. I'm going to. What do we got coming up on the podcast this week? I don't even know. I got to write the podcast show this afternoon. Um, let me know if there's anything, any topics I should hit. We've been pretty slam up with topics these last couple weeks. I'm feeling a little bit light on topics for this week's show. So if you have anything, um, have anything, let me know. I can always come up with something. There's always good stuff to talk about. We'll probably talk about some of this stuff that I opened today. Um. What else? Pretty chill, pretty chill week for a change. I'm, I'm pretty low key week, which I I will take because uh, once we get the roadie ready, once the Karen Dash comes, once the uh... oh, I keep meaning to just reply to your email, Patrick. We should invite a guest, Ink Dependence Mike specifically. Uh, thinks we should uh, invite Ink Dependence Mike uh, to the show. What do you think? Huh? Yeah, exactly. That's what he thinks about you, Mike. That's that's my, that's no. Mike Ink Dependence. All right, Elizabeth. Anything before we wrap it up? What's my hair? Did you get your haircut? So the girls are over here getting haircuts today. You can't even tell, but yes, you got like four are inches cut off, like didn't you? Like? You got like four inches you cut. Got, oh, yeah. About three and a half, maybe. Yeah. So. You um, got here just in time. Yeah. So how do you feel? How do you feel about Ink Dependence, Mike? I don't know. Yeah, me. I don't know either. Right? That's the that's the reaction he elicits. And right. I mean, just in general. Are you are you pro pro Mike or con? No, I don't right? know. See, I mean, Mike, that is tough. <laughs> what did Tyler say? It's pretty much the same thing. Well, I'll I'll say it. I love Mike. Mike's one of my best friends. I, I love Mike. You have too many Mike. People do confuse us. People do confuse me and Mike. Why? It's beautiful when it happens when we're adjacent to each other. That's yeah. the best part. Yeah, you're you're British and he's American. No, ink dependence, Mike, not M Mike with a <laughs> Y. Yeah, you're you're the British dude. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm the British dude. Yeah. Oh, Mike Curley. Okay. Jeez, Louise. All right, I think we're done here, chat. I I'm losing I'm losing the the family at this point. They're just over it. Just All right. Huh? Nothing. All right. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Tyler, say goodbye. Just say thanks for having me. Bye. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't do it right. <laughs> say goodbye, Tyler. Do me. Come on. Say goodbye, Elizabeth. Goodbye, Elizabeth.